everybody, it's Kathy Ekdahl. It's nice to see you again. Um, I am an LPGA Amateurs Boston sponsor, but more importantly for you guys, I'm a Titleist Performance Institute golf fitness instructor and a strength and conditioning coach and personal trainer. It's nice to see you again. Um, I just threw something up on your Facebook page in regards to stretching your hamstrings, and that's part of a bigger theme of warm-ups. And if you're like me, you probably notice that most golfers don't warm up enough. And, and I have some really high level players who are very dedicated to their warm up, but me and my friends and the people we golf with, we don't really warm up nearly enough. And this is kind of crazy because if you think about it, all professional athletes warm up. All professional golfers warm up. Baseball players, basketball players, football, tennis, everything. And in general, those warm-ups that we see the football players, baseball players, tennis players, soccer players, those warm-ups we see them do, they trickle down to the amateur athletes. So at the high school level and even in the, in the student level, the lower level, everybody warms up. So why is it that we don't warm up? Well, we should. And a warm-up is something that's extremely important for your body. And even though the pace of golf is kind of slow, right? We might be 15 minutes on a hole or, or longer, and sometimes we're walking slowly. The bottom line is that each and every golf swing is packed with power. You're swinging the golf club just as hard as someone's hitting a tennis ball or swinging the golf uh, club to hit the ball just as hard as someone's hitting a tennis ball or just as hard as a baseball player hitting a home run. So why shouldn't you be warmed up? Well, you should. Now, there are three reasons to warm up, or there are many, but three that I just want to talk about today. Number one is your warm up should mimic the sport you're going to play. So if you go to the range and you start with some very small swings and, and work on maybe a half swing, three quarter swing, and, and then on up, that's a form of a warm up. So good for you. But I'd also suggest a more fitness oriented, muscular, joint based warm up as well, which is we're going to go there in a second. So, number one, your warm up should mimic the sport that you're playing. So, since golf is a big rotation sport, your warm up should have all kinds of rotation in it. Secondly, the warm up is a time for you to evaluate whether you have any tight areas or weak areas that could get hurt in golf or have been hurt in the golf in the past and you're trying to keep from getting re injured. So, in your warm up, any little stretches that you do or any mobility drills are going to help uh, any previous injuries you've had. And the third reason that we want to warm up is the warm up warms up the muscles, tendons, ligaments, the joints themselves get lubricated when you warm up. So we always play better when it's warm. You want all of your tissue to be nice and warm. So that's why you should warm up. Now, what should be in your warm up? Well, research is really clear right now about this, especially around golf. Holding stretches, and those are called static stretches, prior to your golf game, will shut down power. And golf is a game of power. Like I already said, every time you swing the club, it's with power and speed. So you really shouldn't be holding stretches very long before your golf game. The time to hold stretches very long is in yoga or on a day-to-day -day basis when you're trying to improve flexibility. You might have some body parts that are kind of tight. So in that instance, you can hold a stretch for eight seconds, maybe 10 seconds, but don't push it. Don't go 30 seconds. Don't try to stretch the heck out of something before your golf game because you're actually shutting the muscles down. That's what stretching does. It tells the muscles to relax. And in golf, for the most part, we want our muscles to be very activated. So I'm going to show you several warm ups today that you could take for your own. They don't meet everyone's needs because some people ha might have injuries or flexibility issues and these don't work for them. But the first thing I'm going to do is show you an, uh, a warm up for your mid body, your thoracic spine, your rib cage for your shoulder turn. So we all know that golf is a game of rotation and 
when we're playing golf, we get a nice big rotation on the backswing, right? So we're really using all of the muscles through here. And then same on the follow through. You gotta have a big turn. And because people are in desk posture all day, they tend to lose mobility through their mid back. And by the way, a lack of mobility here will cause pain here. So this is a super important point for you to really take home with you and put into your warm up. So we want to rotate the shoulders and there's lots of different ways to do it. I recommend when you do any kind of mobilization for this part of your back that you get in your golf address because I see people doing this all the time, standing up. I'm gonna make sure my head isn't chopped off here. Standing up, but that's not how we golf. We don't golf like that. We are in an address with our arms up here. So that's the way that you want to warm up this part of your body. So here's a nice one that I do. I'll just get into my golf address, abs tight, arms across my chest, and I'll just turn one direction and then the other. So my hips are moving a little bit. I'm really tight. Um, if you can keep your hips super still, that would be better. And you're just going to go back and forth and let your head go with you. You're not golfing right now. I don't really want you looking down because you're gonna change the drill. You really wanna make this drill big and let your head follow the direction of the rotation. Now, some people will use a club to do this. And again, I, I tend to see people doing this. I don't know, I think you should get into your golf address. And again, you can use this club if this resonates with you. You can turn here. And what I like about it is you can really see the ends of the club and get a sense of how much you're turning. Now, if you find that you're really tight or you have very rounded posture from sitting, then you want to address this more than just before in during your warm up, right? You want to address it throughout the day. So one way to do that is in your classic seated twist. So here, my hand is coming across to my other thigh, if you can't see it well, and I'm pulling myself deep into this stretch. It's basically a yoga stretch. So that's something you could do throughout the day, especially if you have tightness in your mid-back, rib cage in your upper back. Okay, so I would absolutely always do some kind of rotational drill, whether it's in your golf stance or seated. Second, so the second part of um, the golf swing uh, that a lot of people have a problem with is hip rotation. And there's many different ways to rotate your hips. But in golf, right, they rotate inward here, Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of inward rotation of your hips. Sometimes people will stretch their hips like this. That's a nice stretch, but we kind of want to do inward rotation as much as outward rotation. So you can certainly, here's what I'll do, is I take my golf club, I push it into the floor, and I put some mojo here, I'm really pressing. And then I just work on rotating my hips back and forth. So I'm pushing into the club and I'm just rotating back and back. Okay, now remember if you have hip arthritis, you're not gonna have good hip rotation. So keep in mind that if you find one leg is really hard to rotate compared to the other, it could be arthritis. Um, that's what I'm dealing with, and that really impacts my finish. So it, it's a big deal. So the next little drill you could try, and you could do this on the course, before the course, and I'm using two balancing things. I'm using my club, and I'm using a chair. And actually, I think I'll just use the chair for this. So you're going to lift your knee up. You're going to go out, back and up here just like that so i'm going out back and down and then through so this is called a standing hip circle now when you do it you don't want to be 
contorting your body to get the range of motion. You've got to keep this side very, very still. So again, you go up, out, here's the hard part, back and down and then through. This is my bad hip. I ain't got nothing on that side. So when I do try to warm up that leg, I do it much more gently than on the other side. So be gentle with your hip rotation, with your shoulder rotation. You can do five to eight repetitions and breathe throughout the entire warm up because we want the muscles to loosen and not become tighter from the mobility work we're doing. So I showed you an upper back rotational warm up and I showed you a hip rotation warm up, two of them. Um, and I want you to put those into practice, please. Now, lastly, the shoulders. Um, our shoulders do a lot of different things in golf, right? So um, one of the things they do is as your arms come up, you get this funny angle here, right? Something like that. And on your finish, this back arm also comes way back here. So this drill I'm showing you right now, I call it no money. This opens up the front of the chest, works the rotator cuff, and again, it warms up your muscles prior to golf. Maybe eight to 10 times you could do that. The other thing that you certainly could do is a little lat stretch, and sometimes I'll use a club to do that, and I'll just bring my arms over my head and back down over your head and back down. And so when I do this, guys, I'm not arching. That's not good. That's like early extension in golf. I'm trying to keep my pelvis tucked under as my arms come over my head. And when you do that drill, you never want to force it. Um, it this is another subject is tightness to your lats, but your lats bring the club down. So you don't want any trouble with your lats because you're gonna not be able to bring the club down as you'd like to. So we did no money. We just did some basic arm raises. You know, you can certainly just do a few of these. I think that's a dynamic drill that will loosen up your shoulders, but you don't want to kill your shoulders before the game, okay? You can certainly stretch your chest briefly no money, lat stretches, and now you've done your hips, your upper back, and your shoulders. And I think those are things a lot of people don't know how to do well. So I'm hoping that these ideas are things that you can put into your golf game, into your warm up. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, you can email me at Kathy at Personal Best personaltraining.com and I'd be happy to answer any personal fitness questions as well. So, so give those a shot. Let me know how it goes. Have a nice week.